Bob, in the parable of the talents in Matthew 25, 14 to 30, the Lord says that one of the servants is cast into the outer darkness. What is that outer darkness? Well, that's a good question. The outer darkness is only found, that expression, it's only found in Matthew. And it's only found three times in Matthew. Matthew 8, Matthew 22, and then here in Matthew 25. Uh, the expression in all three places could probably better be translated the darkness which is outside. And it's easy to see in Matthew 22, which is about uh, a wedding celebration and this feast that's taking place in a brightly lit hall. They're having this beautiful celebration. And the person who's improperly dressed is cast into the darkness, which is outside. He's missing out on the joys associated with this celebration, which I take it is a figure of speech for missing out on ruling with Christ. In Matthew chapter 8 and verse 12, we're told the sons of the kingdom are cast into the darkness which is outside. And what's interesting, there's only one other use of sons of the kingdom in Matthew, and it refers to the good seed, not the bad seed, but to the good seed, the clearly born again people. So that suggests that those are believers, just like the other one. And in the case of the parable of the talents, again, it, the darkness outside simply means that this unfaithful servant is missing out on some sort of joy, some sort of privilege that's only going to be held out to the faithful servants. Now that same servant who's cast in the outer darkness is said to experience weeping and gnashing of teeth. Isn't that a reference to hell? No, uh, although the expression weeping and gnashing of teeth will be the experience of people in the lake of fire or today in Sheol uh, or New Testament Hades, uh, the truth is that expression is simply an oriental expression of grief. And what it means is that believers who are found to be unfaithful at the judgment seat of Christ will experience shame. Actually, John says this in 1 John 2.28, My little children, abide in him so that when he appears we may have confidence and might not shrink back from him in shame. And the word confidence is boldness. The other opposite is shame. And so the believer who is ashamed of himself will experience weeping and gnashing of teeth. Um, and even in John 11.35, the shortest verse in the English Bible, Jesus wept. He experienced grief over the death of his friend Lazarus and the pain that his sisters and others were experiencing over that death. And so weeping of gnashing of teeth is not an expression of hell. It's an expression of pain related to shame. <laughs>